Hello, my little woolies. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to finish a beautiful stitch. It's called Reversible Shadow Chevron. It's identical on both sides. It doesn't curl. It has a great texture to it. It's so pretty, perfect for knitting cowls or infinite cowls, scarves, blankets. And it's also unisex. It works for men's and women's garments and easy to knit. So it's just a combination of knits and pearls. I hope you like it. Let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 12 plus 2 stitches. They are going to be salvage stitches. For example, 12 times 2, 24 plus 2, 26 stitches. I'm going to cast on 14, 12 plus 2. First row. The first and the last stitch are selvage stitches and they are going to be always knit stitches. So we start with knit one and now comes the repeat what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you have the link to my website with the written pattern below this video on the description box. Just visit sewwoolly.net. So the repeat is purl 5, Net one, pearl one, net five. That's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating. And we have to end the row with knit one. And only on this first row, I like to knit it through the back loop. So you don't have a huge loop there. Second row. Knit one, the selvage stitch, and now comes the repeat. Pearl four. Knit two. Pearl two. Knit four. That's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating and end the row with knit one. Third row, this one is easier. We start with knit one and the repeat is purl three. Knit three and repeat purl three, knit three, and keep repeating to the end of the row, ending with a knit one. Fourth row. Knit one and now comes the repeat. Purl two, knit three, purl one, knit one, purl three, and knit two. That's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left and end the row with knit one. Row five. Knit one. And now comes the repeat. Pour one. Knit three. Pearl 
Pearl 2, Knit 2, Pearl 3, Knit 1. If you have more stitches, keep repeating and end the row with Knit 1. Row 6. This one is an easier one as well. Knit 1 and the repeat is Knit 3 Purl 3 That's it. Knit 3 Purl 3 and repeat if you have more stitches. And in the row with knit one. Seventh row. Knit one. And now comes the repeat. Knit two. Pearl four. Knit four, purl two. That's it. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there's one stitch left and end the row with knit one. Eighth and final row. Knit one. And now comes the repeat. Knit one, purl five, knit five, purl one, and repeat, ending the row with knit one. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off, working each stitch as it presents after a row eight. And this is the result. It's really pretty. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments what kind of stitches you would like to learn. Happy knitting!